Hi everyone, I'm Bianca Nobrega. I'm a data student from Pernambuco, Brazil. And my work is a case report about the combination of photobiomodulation therapy and guided implant placements to improve the postoperative healing of our patients. Postoperative side effects such as pain, trismus, inflammation, and swelling are common concerns for patients undergoing dental implant surgery, uh, affecting their quality of life and the satisfaction with the treatment in general. Traditionally, pharmacotherapy has been used to manage uh, these side effects. However, there is growing the, uh, the interest in using photobiomodulation uh, to increase the healing process and reduce the pain of our patients. Uh, additionally, computer-guided uh, implant placements offers a less invasive surgical approach. And this case report explores the combined use of photobiomodulation and computer-guided implant placements to manage these side effects and promote a patient comfort during the recovery. Our case report is about a 55-year-old man with aesthetic concerns uh, who visited our office for an evaluation of dental crowns that had been placed in the anterior region of maxilla approximately two years before our appointment. Uh, the crowns on teeth 11 and 21 were mobile and the overall aesthetic did not meet the patient's expectations. After clinical and tomographic examination, we confirmed a fracture in the middle third of the root in the upper incisors and a chronic periapical collision on tooth 22. Our treatment was divided in two phases. The first phase of the treatment, the first surgical phase, was planned to promote guided bone regeneration. After six months of the first, uh, the initial intervention, we started the second phase of the treatment. Uh, we had a second surgical procedure that was scheduled to place three implants. The implant placement was performed by using the computer-guided uh, implant placement and photobiomodulation. Uh, it was applied in the immediate post-operative period of the surgical procedure. We irradiated three points per implant, buccal, palatal side, and occlusal side. Uh, we used a visual analog scale uh, to rate the patient's uh, pain level who reported no more than level two between 24 and 72 hours after surgery. So we understand that the post-operative patient comfort plays a crucial role in overall treatment satisfaction. It is essential to minimize post-operative pain, swelling, and discomfort to ensure a smooth recovery process. The treatment was completed, and the patient's expectations of the treatment and final result were accomplished, and the patient reported a good post-operative experience. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.